<clears throat> Jai Pataya beat Sutjet Massey to get a sixth round stoppage win. Uh, one side of the fight, Jai Pataya was in the front foot for most of the fight. In fact, for the, the, throughout the whole duration of the fight, Jack Massey was in the back foot. You know, he had Jack Massey up with the ropes a lot. He was sitting in all kinds of shots, you know, straight, straight left to the head, straight left to the body. You know, some nice body hooks, you know, hooks to the head. It was a pretty one-sided fight for the most part until his corner just decided to throw in the towel. Uh, I think it was Joe Gallagher that threw in the towel. And that was bang on. You know, that was a good decision by Joe Gallagher. He was really look, looking out for his fighter because, you know, the Freddy, the referee wasn't ready to stop it yet at that moment. And a lot of corners would have let it continue. I mean, I've seen beatings worse than that. And they let that shit go all the way to, you know, <laughs> to the end. You know, but... You know, Joe Gallagher clearly was looking out for him and, you know, they threw the towel in there. Now, Jaya Pattaya, you know, he done pretty pretty well here. You know, you know, kind of uh, predictable outcome, but it was fun to watch nonetheless. Um, a couple of things I want to say about Jaya Pattaya though, is that sometimes when he throws the, <clears throat> uh, the straight left, he tends to drop his right hand at times. And Jack Massey, I hope I wasn't calling him Chris earlier one, Jack Massey... Um, uh, he was, you know, he was trying to time the left hook um, on Jaya Pattaya at times. And apparently, he did catch him, he did catch him a couple of times with it, but, you know, nothing too serious. Um, Jaya is a, also tends to drop his hands sometimes. He does get a little bit reckless with his defence. You know, Jack Messi was catching him with a bit of straight rights as well, um, coming in. And he does, there was a couple of times where he was pulling back as well, you know, which is, you know, kind of dangerous. Like, he, you know, he pulled back with his hands down, you know, a quite dangerous, quite dangerous thing to do. Um, I would also like, and you also throw the uppercuts as well from like the wrong, wrong range because, uh, wrong range because his uppercuts weren't exactly accurate. You know, he'd be throwing it from like too far out at times and you don't want to throw an uppercut, you know, from too far out. You know, if you're throwing an uppercut, you better make sure you're accurate with it because your opponent is going to time you. So that's just basically things he needs to work on. I also like to see him use more, um, more angles. I like to see him, you know, sidestep around his uh, opponent's sport because he's a soft sport. You know, he could be able to get away with that. You know, like how Bam Rodriguez does it, where he sidestep, you know, um, to his opponent's blind side, you know, and hits him, you know, with you know, um, with a couple of shots. Like Carlo Machinka would do it. You know, Usyk would do it too. And I like to see Jai Patai make some use of that. He did do it a couple of times. He did do it a couple of times, but not out of habit. You know, if, if that makes any sense. So I ho hopefully that's something they implement in his game more. Is to, you know, get him to uh, um, use angles more. You know, take advantage of the fact that he's a southpaw. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got to say. I like watching Jai Pattaya fight. He's actually one of my favourite fighters today. He's entertaining. Um, I like to see him um, fight like Chris Bean and Smith. I know he tried to fight Chris Bean and Smith, but Chris Bean and Smith decides to fight Zoda Ramirez instead. But he was acting like he wanted to fight Jai. Like, these guys over at Boxer, man, they're very sketchy. You know, like how um, he was supposed to fight Richard Riappo and then they pulled him out on the fucking day of the purse bid. So Jordan Thompson, who was green as hell, had to step in there instead. But at least he stepped in there. I know he got his ass whooped badly and I don't think he's ever fought since. And that was already a year ago. Crazy how time flies. But at least he got in the ring and fought Jai Apatai instead. While Richard Riappo ran away, you know, so... I like to see Jai Pattai, you know, collect other belts, beat Crispy and Smith, or, you know, the fighter winner of Smith and Zerdo. Um, and then there's also the WBC champion as well. The guy's called uh, Noel Sm I'm not even going to pronounce his second name. I don't think it's how it's pronounced. It's just, I don't remember it. He's a German-Armenian fighter. He's WBC champion, and I forgot. <laughs> That's how great the cruiserweight division is, people. You know, and um, I'm pretty sure he fought on the Don King show last time as well. In 2024, can you believe that? <laughs> but yeah, that's all I gotta say. Um, so first, I'm out. Peace.